This is the Hisense 65 inch 4K LED TV. And this that you're seeing right now is the interface, which is really easy to navigate. Let's start with the settings here. Just uh, use your remote to go into the different settings and um, customize it to your heart's content. You press the back button to go back. We've got picture, we've got sound. All the different settings that you're used to in a large television. And let's see here. If you have a, a USB stick connected to the television, you can watch the content that way. Um, you have several inputs. I don't have an antenna hooked up to mine, so let's go back to the settings there. Um, this is a smart TV. So like other smart TVs, um, it has quite a few different apps. Uh, that you can set up. It's got Wi-Fi, so you just connect to your home network and you can um, get into Netflix, Amazon, YouTube. You can see all the different ones here. A nice selection. All the, the ones you really need. And let's see. And there are notifications. Which I've never received a notification, but uh, let's go back here. Alright, so now I'm going to uh, connect an HDMI um, adapter to my MacBook. So that's what my MacBook looks like. Connect my 12 inch MacBook connected to this TV and it is super clear and super sharp. It's just freaking awesome. So now I'm going to show you um, a 4K demo which is really cool. That's not good. Hold on a second. Let me uh, figure out why it's not showing it because it's showing it on my MacBook. Okay, there we go. Here is the um, sample 4K video running through my MacBook, which is connected to a HDMI adapter through USB Type C. And then it's going through my Onkyo AV receiver and then finally into the 65 inch Hisense television. And you're not getting a true sense of how nice this TV is by looking at this um, YouTube video, but let me tell you, it is really, really nice. I would say that this is the best TV that I've ever had in my house. And it's crazy because it's very um, economical compared to a lot of 4K TVs. We'll let this play a little bit longer. I want to get to one specific thing which really blew my socks off. And I'll, I'll include the link to this 4K demo. So if you want to try it on your own television. Pretty soon this one part comes up. Um, I wanted to mention that when the TV comes out of the box and you hook it up, um, I thought it looked nice, but it, the colors and everything were super um, bright and way too hot. And I thought, well, it's a nice TV, it's big and it's pretty, but you know, I wasn't really impressed until I saw somebody else talking about the television and he just mentioned a couple of settings that he's changed. Oh, here we go. This is my favorite part. Check that out. That is crazy. You can see every little feather. Isn't that neat? I don't know if my picture might be too blown out here on this video, but you'll have to look at that video. I'll, um, I'll include the link. But anyway, I was saying that the um, the colors were really saturated, too saturated out of the box, and I made a few settings, and I was just 
like, wow, this is a whole new TV once you just fix a few settings. So let me turn off the, uh, this demo and finish this up. I'm going to switch it over to my direct TV setting or input. So, I mean, I have a direct TV hooked up to this, which doesn't have any 4K um, programming. But you can see some stuff like how sharp and dark the blacks are so black on this TV. And, uh, just to get an idea if you have direct TV or anything else, how, how nice and crisp the text is. It's so much easier to read and so much bigger than I had before. And so, let's just, for some reason I can't uh, pause that. Anyway, um, there you have it. It's the 65 inch Hisense 4K um, TV and uh, it's a keeper. This is my favorite TV of all time. The last time I had a 65 inch TV, it was a rear projection TV that took up like half the room. So now this, uh, this TV is uh, hanging on the wall as you can see. And I'm going to take this, my camera off of uh, this tripod and I'm gonna show you how thin this is. So one second here. Okay, so here's the TV, it's mounted on the wall. And you can see here, I hope you can get a sense of how thin it is up against the wall. It hardly sticks out much at all. And the, the bezels, I don't know if you can really see how, let me try to brighten that up a little bit, how thin they are. So, yeah, I'm liking it. See you guys later.